big news today for Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin is still a thing. I know that Dogecoin and Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and lots of other coins have been stealing the spotlight recently, but Bitcoin is still a gosh darn big deal. So don't forget about old Bitcoin. Today's big news is that U.S. banks, any U.S. bank will soon be able to sell Bitcoin to their customers. This is a massive, massive story. The potential of this is just incredible. So we'll be digging into that story. Also some Bitcoin ETF news and some big NFT news as it looks that eBay may be getting into the NFT game. And make sure to stick around for the NFT stories because I have an opportunity for you to get a free NFT. So do stick around for that. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency. So if that's a topic you'd like to learn some more about, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. And of course, click on the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So let's go ahead and get into the news. So let's go ahead and get straight into the big story, which is that NYDIG, NYDIG, the New York Digital Investment Group, has announced their partnership with FIS, which is Fidelity National Information Services. Now, this partnership is going to enable any U.S. bank to be able to offer their customers to be able to buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin. The intention here is to literally make it stupidly easy to buy Bitcoin that anyone in the USA with a bank account will be able to buy Bitcoin via their bank or sell it back to their bank and also let their bank hold on to it for them. Now, personally, personally, I don't want my bank holding on to Bitcoin for me, but you have to understand there is an incredible amount of money sitting in US bank accounts. Right now, there's around 17 trillion dollars, 17 trillion dollars sitting in U.S. bank accounts, just sitting there earning almost no interest. That money could easily flow into Bitcoin if we start actually seeing these partnerships manifest themselves. Now, the CEO of NYDIG said that he could see hundreds of U.S. banks adopting this service this year. I mean, you have to think about it. This is the perfect timing for it. Bitcoin is getting more attention than ever. The crypto markets are going crazy. Dogecoin is going to the moon. All that stuff is happening. Big banks are already getting on the bandwagon. We now have JP Morgan, uh, Deutsche Bank, US Bank, Bank New York Mellon, and like a dozen or so other big banks that are already planning to offer some kind of crypto services to their customers. This is just the next step. This is getting Bitcoin into your corner bank down the street. This is a big, big deal because it expands the potential liquidity of the market exponentially. People sometimes wonder, well, how does Bitcoin get up to like a $10 trillion market cap? It gets up to a $10 trillion market cap by letting everybody and their uncle and their mother and the guy down the street be able to buy Bitcoin easily. Now, PayPal was a massive step in that direction. PayPal has already been a very popular service. Obviously, we have new services like Coinbase and um, Cash App and all this stuff that allows people to get Bitcoin. But you need to go to where the money is sometimes. The money was in PayPal. So PayPal doing that was very, very uh, forward thinking. They've already been making incredible gains off of their crypto play. But where the real money is sitting, it's in U.S. bank accounts. So if your Uncle Joe can log into his local county bank account and it all of a sudden has the option buy, sell Bitcoin there, he's probably going to buy a little bit of Bitcoin. He doesn't have to manage his keys. He doesn't have to sign up for a new website like Coinbase. It's just there. It's just easy. So if NYDIG can actually follow through on the promise of seeing literally hundreds of U.S. banks coming on board to this uh, service that they're offering. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's going to be big, guys. It's going to be big. Now, in Bitcoin ETF news, so Vanek and BetaShares have both applied for an Australian Bitcoin ETF. We also see a lot of family offices getting Bitcoin in Australia as well. But the Bitcoin ETF, it's going to be everywhere. Obviously, we have a Canadian Bitcoin ETF. 
We have a uh, Brazilian Bitcoin ETF. South Africa is talking about a Bitcoin ETF. Australia has been talking about a Bitcoin ETF. Now, we've mentioned that before on the channel here, but actually see Van Eck in particular, I think is really, really interesting because Van Eck is one of the most likely Bitcoin ETFs to get approval in the USA. So to see them doing that in Australia as well is a big deal. So I think at this point, Australia is probably going to beat the USA to having a Bitcoin ETF. So come on, America, catch up, come on, catch up. Every, every country is going to beat you to the punch. We're going to have small countries that are going to do it way before the U.S. does. So Australia is about to beat you guys. Come on, SEC, let's get it done. Also today, we had news that the e-commerce giant Mercado Libre has bought $7.8 million of the Bitcoin. Now, this is a big Latin American uh, e-commerce company. Now, $7.8 million of the Bitcoin, it's not a massive amount of Bitcoin. It's some Bitcoin, right? But it's not like a micro strategy buy where they buy a billion dollars of the Bitcoin or a Tesla buy where they buy $1.5 billion of the Bitcoin, but it's still a big deal. So this is great to see more companies looking out and saying, hey, we got to get rid of some of this cash that's sitting around in our treasuries. We need to buy some Bitcoin. Every single company adds up because that $7.8 million of the Bitcoin, wait until the next company buys $7.8 million and that company buys $7.8 million. There's literally not enough Bitcoin for all these companies to have just a little tiny bit of $7.8 million of the Bitcoin let alone all the retail buyers who are soon going to get access via U.S. banks. There's just not enough. The moon maths for Bitcoin are absolutely incredible. And remember, Bitcoin's only around a trillion dollar market cap right now, which might seem like a lot, but the market cap of gold right now is around $10 trillion, and people still buy gold like crazy. So for Bitcoin to 10x from here to get up to the price of gold, people would still be buying it in the same way they are buying gold now. So very, very interesting to see more people coming into the market, more companies coming into the market. By the way, if you want to get an edge on the cryptocurrency market, you need to check out Wealth Mastery. It is my weekly investor report that my team and I publish. Every single issue of this investor report, you're going to get a deep dive altcoin report, the latest technical analysis, looking at altcoins, the bigger picture in the market, a step-by-step -step DeFi tutorial, a trending coin analysis, an interview with an industry leader, and much, much more. All of that for less than 10 bucks a week. So make sure to check it out using the link down below and don't miss out on another issue. Now let's talk about NFT. NFTs. NFTs have been such a major, major trend so far in 2021, and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon, to be honest. Especially when you see stories like this, eBay is exploring ways to enter the NFT market. They're also considering accepting uh, cryptocurrencies as a payment option. But let's get back to the NFT market, because eBay is... By and afar, one of the world's biggest e-commerce platforms. Now, we do have our native NFT platforms. You know, we have OpenSea and Rarible and Super Rare, and Binance is going to be launching an NFT platform really soon as well, which will be really, really big. But eBay coming in to the NFT market, this takes it to the next freaking level. Now, to be clear, they have not said definitively, we're launching an NFT marketplace. This is the day we're doing it. But the fact that they're talking about it now, you know they're going to do it. I mean, it's just like with PayPal. You see the economic opportunity. If your company doesn't adapt to the time, start offering these new products that people obviously want, you're going to miss out on business. Somebody else is going to come in and take that business. And long term, you're going to lose out and start to fade into ir irrelevance. eBay doesn't want to do that. eBay wants to stay a major e-commerce platform, therefore, they're going to launch NFTs. And when eBay launches NFTs, I mean, holy cow, man, that's going to send the NFT market just soaring beyond belief. All of these NFT use cases, gaming and celebrity tokens and content creator tokens and patents and just on and on and on and on, art and all this stuff, so many use cases for NFTs. They're all going to start coming out of the woodworks over the next couple of years. You are witnessing right now the very beginning 
of the NFT market. We haven't even really started to see crazy, crazy explosions in value yet. Oh, sure, we had the $69 million Beeple sale, but that was just the start. It's going to go much, much crazier than that. Now, as mentioned, I said there was going to be some free NFTs in this video, and that is absolutely true. So the guys from Engine have given me 500 NFTs to give away to you guys, the first 500 people to claim the NFTs will obviously get the NFTs. So Engine is doing this in celebration of the launch of their Affinity token. So the token generation for Affinity has been completed. Now, Affinity is their cross-chain NFT platform. We're going to be talking about that a lot more on the channel because it's coming from the guys from Engine who are already one of the biggest NFT platforms in the business. Their launching of Affinity is a big, big deal. So definitely keep an eye out for the EFI token. I think it's going to be a really, really big one because it's launched by Engine. These guys know exactly what they're doing when it comes to NFTs. This is a cross-chain NFT marketplace. It's going to huge. Now, if you do want to get a token, here's how to do it. So scan this QR code right over here and the first 500 people to do that and to claim the NFT will get a free NFT. So go ahead and check that out. Get yourself a free NFT because free stuff is definitely cool. And this is a rare NFT to start off the beginning of the Affinity Network. So do check that out. And finally for today, this is a very cool NFT project that I want to put on your radar. It's called Wilder World. So it's a decentralized NFT market and artist guild. It also has a metaverse attached to it. So you can see the quality of what we're talking about here with the art for Wilder World. We're really going really awesome, amazing art pieces. You can see here are some examples of what you're going to find in Wilder World. So amazing artists, really high quality stuff coming to their metaverse. Now the Wilder token will be a DAO token. So it's gonna be used to govern the platform. It's also gonna be an incentives token. So you'll earn the Wild token for buying and selling in the Wilder World metaverse and for accomplishing different tasks within that metaverse. It will also be used to control the capital reserves and govern the loot token. Now the loot token will be art and ETH backed so it's actually got something behind it which is pretty gosh darn cool it's also a dynamic token with a bonding curve pricing model so this is a really interesting take on a, a pick and shovel play for an nft marketplace that also is backed up by an interesting metaverse now the art market so it's gonna be a place to use your wilder tokens and buy sell trade nfts so you can mint NFTs directly from your wallet. So that's going to be something that's possible in Wilder World. You can also have fractional ownership of your favorite artworks. Now that is a really, really big deal because this allows for a whole range of different opportunities to start to come into play with your NFTs. So let's say that there's an NFT that you and your friend like. Well, you can go 50-50 on it and buy it as an investment opportunity potentially. Maybe you just both like it and want to be able to use it within that metaverse. You can do that too. And I think this opens up a lot of real opportunities for NFTs to start taking its next level as an investment class for that digi uh, digital verifiable scarcity. So that's really, really cool. Obviously, they're going to have a liquid marketplace. You can buy and collect trade tokens and of course, easily sell your art on the Wilder World Marketplace. So this is one that's definitely got my attention. Again, I have a big bull on the NFT space, but more so than buying the NFTs themselves, as I've been saying a lot, I'm into the pick and shovel plays. That's why I'm into Eternity. That's why I'm into Terra Virtua. That's why I'm into Refinable, a few other tokens as well. Being the ones that I think are going to be the coins that end up being the big players in the NFT space. And it's a big, big arena. And I think we haven't really seen definitive um, long-term leaders establish themselves yet. We have some people who are definitely ahead in the race right now. And Wilder World hasn't actually launched their token yet. But I think that with the quality of what they're talking about bringing to the table here, that this is definitely one to keep an eye on. I am investing in Wilder World. Now, if you do want to grab yourself some of this, 
It's going to be doing a Pokestarter launch, so an IDO on Pokestarter on May 11th. So you can check that out. The whitelist is currently open, so go and apply for that. But it's something to keep in mind. If you do not get into the Pokestarter sale, just a quick word of caution. These token sales, they tend to go pretty crazy on the first couple of days uh, post-listing. And then they have a bit of a cool down period. So if you do miss out on the token sale, maybe just give it a few days to see if the token cools down so you can get a better entry price so you don't end up you know, buying high and inevitably selling low. So again, it's a high potential project, which I want to put on your radar. So something for you to check out. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Your question for today, if you could buy Bitcoin at your local bank, would you do it? And if you did do it, would you let your bank hold on to your Bitcoin or not? And if you wouldn't, do you think still it's an interesting service that somebody like maybe your Uncle Joe might like? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.